concert was the other night, but the girls are still out for the great sports today. They think you're a part of one direction. That's where Kyle Scott, I think, was in one direction. We were pulling out. I were pulling out for one direction. All ages, welcome here to Chickies and Beats in South Philly for the great sports today. Welcome back to Play 2 and Kyle Scott of Crossing Broad is here and Crossing Broad is a perfect headline for what you're going to talk about. Did a certain Philadelphia media member maybe cross the line here with the way they handled the bridge situation? A little bit, I think so. Uh, far be it for me to criticize anybody. Did you make it through this, by the way? They're still I, screaming for you. I feel like we're in a boy band, so <laughs> this, is, this is going to be tough because this doesn't match that. Far be it for me to criticize anybody for taking pot shots at an athlete. But for two years, Brandy Miller of the Carrier Post defended Briz against character attacks and was probably his one true ally among the Flyers writers. Two years ago, Randy and I got into it on Twitter when he said that the fans shouldn't boo Briz Galloff, that they should support him. Miller claimed that he understood Briz Galloff after having conversations with him. Earlier this year, he defended Briz again against character attacks, mostly the ones surrounding Briz nodding off in a meeting. Miller traded his favorable coverage of Briz for access. Yet this week, when a bunch of Flyers writers were on some sort of retreat down the shore and Briz was bought out, Miller called Briz to get comment from him, and he was hung up on, and he tweeted that fact. All of a sudden, the guy, who was in, he was in his corner, he got hung up on. Not shortly thereafter, Miller took to Twitter and decided to let loose with a series of vicious tweets. First up, one about Ilya Brzezgalov getting into it four times with Peter Laviolette. Another tweet about something Miller had overheard in a bar, some members of the Flyers calling Briz a cancer on the team. There were others. These are all noteworthy, noteworthy things, all things that were relevant when Brzezgalov was, you know, a member of the Flyers. But Miller... Miller never reported them. He instead, he made he traded favorable coverage for access and exclusives with Briz. He even had the gall to go on Twitter and tell someone that you can't use the sorts of things you overhear in a bar because they're off the record. Yet these are the exact same things that he went and used when Briz was no longer of use to him. Look, it's one thing to trade favorable coverage to get access. It's another to cross the line and get the real story, even if the ethical boundaries are blurred. But what Miller did, it takes the worst kind of journalist to trade the favorable coverage and then only cross that line when the guy is no longer of use to you. Of course, maybe Briz is still of some use to Miller. Now that he's gone, maybe Miller can write a book about him. Wow. <laughs> now, if this was the Jerry Springer show, we'd be like, and yeah. come on out, Randy Moore. Uh, hey, hey, Riz fell asleep in a meeting? Who reported that? Who was that? I think that was me. What? Did he? Yeah. Did he really Riz, fall asleep? Did Riz hang up on you when you no. called him there? Okay. No, no. Did you call? <laughs> what? Did you call? No. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's, it's not appropriate to handle it. And it's not my style to 